Hi! So, magkakare, ano tayo mag uh, gameplay impressions ko or impressions ko with Monster Hunter Rise. So, let's talk about it. Hello, my name is Twin, this is the Gamer. So, we'll be talking about Monster Hunter Rise. This is my gameplay impression. So, this is not a review. So, I played Monster Hunter before. And, uh, I played it. I played it on PSP. I played it on A Bit of World. Yung ano sa Xbox Series X. Uh, tapos, and, sa DS. I played it on DS. Pero, majority of my gameplay, parang. I wasn't really happy with it in general. Kasi eh yun yung parang ano yung yung learning curve niya it's a bit a, a, a little too high for me to actually enjoy it. Which is definitely it does not mean that it's a bad game. Although it only means na I'm not exposed to it well enough to actually enjoy it. And alam ko it's not just me. Marami rin ako mga ibang kilala, uh, friends of mine who also didn't like who doesn't really like yung mechanics ng Monster Hunter Rise. Pero, marami rin akong kilalang nag enjoy sa kanya. So, it's really not about the game. It's definitely, it's, it's me. I made a different approach dito sa Rise. So, yung sister ko kasi, mahi, yung sister ko, pati yung husband niya, mahilig sa uh, Monster Hunter Rise. So, I asked how to play this. Pero sila naglalaro sila sa, ano, sa, sa Switch. Ako lang yung naglalaro sa Xbox. Kasi yung sa Switch, uh, 30 frames per second. Um, una, wala akong copy ng game. And buying the game, it's a little too expensive for me. Kaya that's something I can't tanong muna. Kasi right now, I'm happy with the Game Pass option. So, hindi ako mili ng Rise sa Switch because of that. Kasi it's just expensive. Kahit mababa ang quality ng game sa sa Switch, I usually don't have any issues with that. Wala naman akong problem with low lower graphics. So, important sa akin, this gameplay must be smooth. Uh, nung nilaro ko sa sa, ano, nung nilaro ko sa Switch, hindi ko nagustuhan. It's fine, kasi, well, I was playing the demo. Um, pero it was fine, pero not something I would say na, okay, I'll, I'll get into this. Yung nga, nagbago yung approach ko sa, ano, sa Rise. I asked na yung my sister ko, pati yung, yung husband niya na, to get, uh, no, uh, teach me how to get this done. When I played this time, I, I, it had a better impression on me. I, 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 I was kind of getting, in, I was kind of getting na enjoyment out of it already. Actually, torn ako in between playing this or Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So, patalon-talon yung paglalaro ko dun. Ang naging ano ko kasi, ang ano ko is yung medyo, ano talaga, medyo overload sa information yung game. As in, ano ko, kasi ang dami mong kailangan intindihin eh. You, you really need to understand the weapons. You really need to understand how things work within the game. Tapos yun yeah, it really focuses on hunting. It's not an open world as other games that I like. Pag nag magnuka, once you enter a map, your map to it's not really big. Uh, you just pero it's ano, it's you still have to look for the enemy sa kailangan mo. Pero at the same time, may marker naman kung nasa yung enemy mo, so it's kind of easier. From what I understand, it's 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 a lot easier than world yung ano yung monster hunter world so i pero yun nga because it's no it's because of that siguro i i find it easier i enjoy a little more enjoyable than before ang problem ko sa kanya is farming siguro kasi i uh, ano, ano tayo sa ano sa mechanics ng game i like the mechanics overall so far i like the ano na you can choose your particular weapon na gusto mo and mas makapili ka ng particular no, uh, as in you really have to try out different weapons and find something that you're comfortable with so i like that aspect of the game but at the same time it's a little too overwhelming kasi pagpasok mo ng game you're be given a big this, this, big giant weapon pero it really doesn't teach you how to go through all the weapons ang sinasabi lang sa iyo ito weapon ito ganito yung weapon and ngayon ito na yung maraming maraming weapons sa iyo kasi <laughs> it's just it's just, it's just overwhelming yung mga kailangan mong intindihin at the same time it teaches you a bunch of other things so it can be too much for someone uh, that, that's why siguro na appreciate ko yung pagturo sa akin ng sister ko pati yung ng ano ng, ng husband niya kung tinuruan niya ako about tinuruan nila ako about that 
yung mga iba ibang aspect I, I, I get to appreciate it more pero it's still I still find it na mas maganda siya laruin with friends and right now it I have a uh, have difficult time to find time to play with friends kasi it's my mostly because of my work schedule work schedule ko kasi sobrang alanganin <laughs> pero alanganin in a sense na ano ah na on mornings yun yung free time ko tapos evenings yun yun yung uh, work time ko habang ang work time yung friends ko it's completely opposite so it's a schedule issue thing so yun ya, I I'm not getting that proper experience because of that and also because of it limit yung mga items na nakukuha ko and that also hinders yung experience ko uh, kasi sabihin, if I don't get the materials that I need for making stuff hindi ko magagawa yung ano yun nga hindi ko magagawa yung armor hindi ko magagawa yung weapons hindi ko magagawa so in a sense my lack of being able to play with friends is really hindering me to enjoy the game kasi ang isang alternative alternative ko dun is just really playing on my own and farming heavily as in yung yung heaviness sense na parang okay anong item ang kailangan ko anong pangalan ng item na kailangan ko to get this particular ingredient anong mission ko pala siya makukuha anong mission so yung buwan sa mga anong mission na yun anong creature yung kailangan ko patayin para mapatay para makuha ko yung material na yun and how many times do I have to do this just to get all the materials that I have to get before I can make that particular item so the farming part is a little it's a bit of too much for me at the moment okay bago natin tuloy yung video kung mahilig ka sa mga board games check this video out That was Variable Play. We are a group of content creators focused on tabletop games and some video games. Marami silang shows, katulad ng mga unboxing, let's play, miniature painting, how to play, board game news, game discussions, and more. Sige, on to the video. Uh, pero yun niya, it's, it's an impression. I cannot say it as a review because it's just a little too much for me. Um, pero yun, you know, I'm not saying that it's a bad game. It's not. It's a good game. But currently, it's not for me. Pero titingnan ko pa kasi I really want to play this. I really want to play this. Pero the farming part is really getting to me. It's not something I'm really enjoying. Kasi ini eh, the entire thing, yung pag gameplay, yung pag ano, yung pag pag yung pag kalaban mo ng mga monsters, and that is fun. I really enjoy that. And every every mission, bawin sa minsan, the longer you progress, the more the creature gets bigger and more grand in the way they look. And I really love that part of it. Pero yung forced farming mo that's uh, no, that's a little uh, no, too much kasi yung first set armor mo kukuha mo you'll get this armor na no, na, na by default it's nothing it's encouraged na kunin mo yung parang free pack may parang free pack of armor sila na na mataas naman ang defense ang problem na sa kanya wala siyang ano, wala siyang enhancements so talagang armor na lang siya or parang ano lang mataas ng defense niya and if, if you try to upgrade any of the default armor, wala rin gagawin yun. As in, ano lang talaga siya, uh, itsura lang. So you have to defeat bosses first to unlock yung mga iba pang armor. Pero it's also encouraged na dapat ulit-ulitin mo yun, not because of you want to. You're required to, to do that over and over again para makuha mo lang yung mga materials as much as possible. So... Ayun, if you don't like repeating stuff all the time, eh, this is can be, this is not gonna be for you. Kailangan talaga you must be prepared to farm a lot of times. Nasa point na ako na kalabanin ko yung parang I don't know, first boss ba? Um, I don't know if it's the first boss, pero it's one, it's one that kind of blocked 
my progress. Uh, right now, I don't know how to get through it without farming. Because I mean, I need to farm for materials, not for that just the armor, but also some ano, some ingredients that I need. So, parang pang buff na weapon, pang buff na na armor, pang buff na ano. So, may mga parang temporary buffs that I need to get, and I need to get ingredients of that. Because the previous na laro ko, I've been using that without my upgraded armor. So, what happened? No, ubus lang yung materials sa so, mamatay na ako. And it's it's uh, the kakaroon ng point na rather than I am enjoying, it's more frustrating. Pero definitely yung pagturo ng sis ng ano ng sister ko pati ng asawa niya, that really really helped me and got me gave me more enjoyment than it did to me previous on previous games na try ko. It's not perfect yung experience ko, pero it's an improvement from my previous experiences. So, pero I understand that people like this and there is no problem with that. Wala na mga nyan. As in, it's just a pref. It's just a personal preference thing. I want to see progress a little move a little faster. Kasi pa ulit ulit. Kasi I just feel like I want to get more out of the out of games. Ah, dito kasi parang iniya. No, umulit na umulit na. It's just getting a little frustrating than me enjoying it. Anyway, that's my initial impressions. And yeah, it's it's not 100% positive. Pero it I I can't blame it on the game. I blame it myself. Kasi ayoko na na paulit ulit na matindi. Ayon. Anyway, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I really really appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe. That really means to me a lot. Di pa ako makita sa mga videos sa to, so just lang talaga. I'm just doing this because it's a hobby. Yeah, pero thank you, thank you so much for taking the time. I really, really appreciate it. I'll be unboxing tapestry sometime soon, kasi I have a copy na. I got a used copy ng tapestry with the help of Sim. Aldo, he helped me dun sa pagkuha ng title. Um, I was looking forward to play it again. Nalaro ko na siya sa ano, nalaro ko na siya sa, sa physical board game uh, once. Tapos, I'm playing it sa board game arena, sa you know, online. Pero I am looking forward to opening my own copy of ano. Pero yun nga, it's used. So, hindi siya ano. It's not a fresh open game. So, we'll see kung paano pa nakapack si ko paano inorganize ng kung so, sino nagbenta. Uh, by the way, hindi galing kay Sim mismo yung item. Uh, nakuha ni Sim to from a mass trade. Uh, tapos, um, hindi niya nakuha physically yung game. Yung, yung nagbigay sa kanya ng game, yung binanako, saan niya nakuha? Siya yung pinagkuhaan niya, siya nagpadala lang dapat na rate sa amin. So, uh, definitely, siya yung siya, ano, mismo, hindi rin niya alam kung ano itsura ng condition so we'll see it for the for the first time ayan anyway thank you for everybody thank you for now for everybody for sign uh for watching my videos i really appreciate it you guys take care and bye bye